Hi everyone, it's Stephanie here and welcome back. In today's video, I am going to be creating a Christmas card and I'm gonna be using the new Perfect Poinsettia Dynamics. This is a really great die because it has a lot of different layering elements so you can create really full flowers or you can mix it up and just use the smaller parts or the larger parts to create large and small flowers. Now for my flower today, I decided to die cut it all from white cardstock and then I'm going to use my Copic markers to add the color. This is just going to allow me to do some shading, which is gonna make the flower look more dimensional. But if you don't wanna do all of the coloring, you can definitely die cut this from colored cardstock and then assemble your flower from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and color in one of the poinsettia petals and I'm also going to color in one of the leaves in the video just to show you how I color them and the colors I'm using. And then I'll color the rest off screen before we start to assemble our card. So for the poinsettia petals, I used R35 as my base layer and I colored that over the entire piece to really saturate the paper. I then went in with R37, which is a little bit darker, and I pulled that from the center out towards the middle area of the petals. I followed that up with R46, which is a really dark red, and then I went in with R59, which is a really super deep red color. You can see how much contrast that one added when we colored that one on. And then I'm gonna go back and forth between all of the colors I used and I'm going to kind of blend it out until I'm happy with how it looks. So I usually like to go lightest all the way to darkest and then I usually kind of mix and match between the lightest, medium, and dark as I do the final blending to get it how I want it. Once I'm happy with the coloring on this, I'm just gonna set it aside and then we're gonna color in one of the leaves. Now all of the rest of the poinsettia petals are gonna be colored exactly the same. I did do the smaller ones a little bit darker though, so you will see that when we bring all the pieces back into the video. Then here for the leaf, I used the lightest color, which is YG23, and then I followed that up with YG17 and YG67 for the center of the leaf, and that just provided some really nice dark contrast and really made the leaf look dimensional. So I'm, like I mentioned, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the coloring off screen, and then we're gonna come back here and we're gonna to start to assemble the card. So for my card, I decided to use the largest petals and then two of the smaller ones. And then I'm also going to use the two largest leaves as well as one of the smaller ones and the center area in the center of the flower. I also did some stamping off camera. I used the new Christmas background stamp and I stamped it onto a panel of white cardstock. And to do the stamping, I just used black licorice dye ink. I really love the contrast of having the black and white in the background and then having that really bright colored poinsettia on top. So I'm excited to put this all together. This is going to be adhered to a wild cherry card base and I have die cut this piece smaller than the card base so it actually measures four inches by five and a quarter. So it's going to fit nicely onto our A2 size card which is five and a half inches by four and a quarter. It's going to let a little bit of that red kind of peek out around every side and that's going to coordinate nicely with our poinsettia flower. So now that I have that done, I also have two more pieces here that I've die cut. I have a stitch rectangle that was die cut with the stitch rectangle set two dynamics. And then I also have a panel of silver sparkle cardstock that's from our new Holly Jolly cardstock collection. Now I have a little sentiment strip here. This was die cut from the hearts in a row horizontal. And I have two sentiment stamps that I'm going to combine to create our finished sentiment. So the piece Love And is from the Filled With Joy stamp set, and then I also have the Joy stamp, which is from the Hand Lettered Holiday Greetings. So I'm going to stamp out the piece Love And first, and I'm going to stamp it onto the sentiment strip. I'm using black licorice dye ink once again, and I'm just gonna stamp this over to the right hand side since I wanna layer this onto the white panel, and I want it to be coming off of the left side, so I want that fishtail end to be kind of facing over to the right. And then once I have that done, I'm going to position it onto the panel, and that's going to help me figure out where I wanna stamp the word joy because I wanna stamp that directly on the panel and heat emboss it. So I just kinda of layered everything on there, figured out where the joy needs to be stamped, and then I'm using Versamark ink to stamp that onto the panel. I'm then going to take some silver sparkle embossing powder from Wow and sprinkle that directly over top, and then I'm gonna take it to my heat tool and heat set that. And that's going to incorporate the silver sparkle not only in the matte cardstock that we're going to add behind our panel, but now it also incorporates it into the sentiment. I'm going to use some adhesive and adhere this directly onto the silver sparkle piece. And don't be shy with the adhesive when you add cardstock to a piece of glitter cardstock. It just helps to really ensure that everything stays together. Once I have that on there, I'm going to trim down my little sentiment strip, and then I'm going to adhere that flat to the panel. I find the easiest way to adhere a little sentiment strip like this is with some liquid glue, so I just used my glue pen, added the adhesive on the back, and then positioned that directly above our joy sentiment. 
I'm now going to adhere this panel to our card base and I'm going to use the same adhesive. I'm not going to add any dimension to this at all. And I'm just going to kind of position this towards the center and adhere that directly on top. So now that we have the background and the sentiment done, we can start to assemble our poinsettia. Now I kind of had an idea in mind before I started this card of where I wanted to position this. So that's why I kind of made sure to have that sentiment up on the top left side. I want to have the poinsettia be towards the bottom right and I really want this to be the focus of the card. So I'm going to first assemble the different petals of the flower. To do this I like to just use some liquid glue and add it to the center. I don't add any adhesive underneath any of the petals because I like to be able to kind of lift them up to give them a little bit of extra dimension. So by only adhering it in the center that leaves the petals completely loose so that you can kind of bend them upwards. I'm also adding the little center piece to the center of the flower and then I'm going to kind of figure out where I want the leaves but I'm not going to adhere them on yet. I'm going to position the flower onto the card front and then I'm going to just kind of move the leaves around until I know exactly how I want to adhere them and then I'll start to add my adhesive and actually adhere everything down. I always like to kind of lay everything out before I commit to where I'm putting it just in case I want to move things or it's not really going to fit where I envisioned it going. So this did work out. The flower is going to fit very nicely where I want it. So I do have some adhesive on the back of the flower but I haven't pressed it firmly down. I want to get my leaves in place first. So I'm adding adhesive to the back of each of these and getting those where I want them, pressing them down and then I'm just going to kind of very carefully lift up the flower and get that exactly where I want it and then I'll press everything down really firmly. Then I'm going to kind of lift up the petals for that little bit of dimension. I also folded up the ends of the leaves. And to finish off the flower, I'm going to add a doodle bug enamel dot to the center. This is a silver sparkle enamel dot, which coordinates nicely with the silver embossing we did on the sentiment, as well as the silver sparkle cardstock that we used under the main panel. Then I'm going to add a few clear droplets kind of scattered around that sentiment. And then the last thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of glitter to some of the poinsettia of petals, as well as the leaves with my Nouveau glitter pen. This is a very subtle shimmer, but it adds just enough sparkle and when the card hits the light the right way, you get this really nice sparkle and shine on the flower. I love having any type of sparkle on a holiday card, so this is a great pen to use just to add a little bit of that subtle shimmer to your designs. And then once I have that done, we have finished our holiday card. This is a very traditional card for me. I tend to gravitate towards non-traditional colors, so it was kind of fun to play with traditional reds and greens and create a card with them. I hope today's video gave you some ideas on ways that you can mix and match our new October release products. I used a bunch of different ones on this design, but they worked really well together and I was really happy with how the design turned out. As always, I appreciate you so much for joining me in today's video. If you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button so you'll be notified of future videos. And I hope to see you in another one soon. Thanks so much for watching.